The beautiful French town of La Rochelle is turning it on for the 2012 SAP 505 World Championship. It's been an incredible start to the pinnacle event of the 505's year. The world's best are enjoying 20-knot wins and champagne sailing in the fast and furious double-handed dinghies. German sailor Wolfgang Hunger is going for his seventh 505 World Championship and he's on course after winning yesterday's second race. Oh, it's not, not an easy place to sail, there's a lot of current and the other uh, competitors are really tough. The other Germans are right now uh, pretty, pretty good in the race. After two races it was another German, Christian Kellner, at the top of the overall leaderboard. We have a lot of current here and the SAP technology helps a lot. We could ask before the uh, start, are we thinking right and have we the right strategy? There's still seven races to go and, and numbers can get big on the, on the scores really easily. When there's 100 boats, it's, it's fairly easy to, to get back to a respectable score. When there's 200 boats, if you get caught back in the, in the fleet, then getting back to the front is going to be very, very hard. Behind me, the 505s are just about to make a start. It's a slightly lighter sea breeze today, so will the Germans, the heavy air specialists, be able to maintain their place at the top of the leaderboard. Starting 188 boats simultaneously is not an easy task, and today it took three attempts before the wind settled enough to get everyone underway. Australians Nicholas and Payne read the tricky conditions well and were off to a flying start, breaking away on the first beat. Regatta leader Kalner was in second and racing to extend his overall advantage. In a moderate sea breeze, the 505s were flying downwind and the fleet was spread right across the course. But it was once again the German teams making the most of the wind shifts with three pairings inside the top ten. At the top mark, Britain's Ian Pennell, who was lying second in the overall standings, ran into trouble and was penalised, losing valuable places. But out in front, the Australians were cruising home for an emphatic one-minute win. It was their first bullet of this World Championship. Overall leaders Kalna and Schola came in second. They've now recorded three second placings in a row. They were ahead of the Danish Buell pairing in third. Today the, the, the day started tough in, in, in such a way that we had very light wind condition then, then it's a totally new game. Yeah? I mean we had now three races with relatively same wind conditions and that was good for us. Yeah, Nothing to argue about but uh, if the wind changes, if the wind drops and there are a lot of other people very competitive. With three races into this championship and so far Germans Kalna and Scholler are the ones to beat. Bogaki and Dan also from Germany are second, with Pinal and Mitchell holding third. Two races are scheduled for day three of the championship, but under the intense heat of the La Rochelle summer sun, crews are set to be pushed to their limits. For all the info on watching live, tap on to sap505worlds.com.